Hello television viewers, I'm Nick, and motor vehicle injuries are a leading cause of death among children in the United States. God, I was determined to have at least one conversation today that didn't begin with me saying that. As a grown adult who hangs out in a lot of toy stores, it's really not a good idea for me to be bringing up any sort of childhood death statistic. You see, I've been watching a lot of commercials for Power Wheels, the battery-operated ride-on vehicles from Fisher Price. These toys can be very dangerous, which explains why I've been thinking about children getting hurt but not why I picture it in such vivid, gruesome detail. Hmm. In any case, here's one of the first Power Wheels commercials from 1986, before Fisher Price acquired the brand. Power Wheels Raider, Power Wheels High Rider, Power Wheels Classic Convertible, each sold separately, all battery powered with real motors. And its own power motor makes it go, go, go! Oh, oh, power Wheels, oh, oh, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Parents assemble them easily, then off you go, over the hills, around the trees. Power Wheels, Power Makes It Go! Power Wheels, Classic Convertible, Raider, and High Rider all run on rechargeable batteries, each sold separately. I don't know what kind of a kid you were growing up, but if I had been given the choice between these three cars, you would definitely catch me rolling up in the old-timey whip like homegirl with the hat. I would be like, hey guys, look how vintage my car is. Ironically, this first Power Wheels commercial markets the toy in a more gender-neutral way than we would ever see again, simply because it depicts a female driving a car that isn't bright pink. After the line became a part of Mattel's Fisher-Price family, Power Wheels began making licensed miniature versions of popular real cars, which were marketed to boys to go on adventures and drive through mud puddles with. And girls were given cars licensed by Barbie, which they could use to pretend to go shopping and stuff. Go, Lamborghini, go! In my Barbie Lambo, I'm the star of the show. Pow, pow, power wheels. Tonight's the school band. Gotta look great, gonna stay up late. Then it's shop, 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 till we drop, drop, drop. We make a great team. Talking phone Barbie Lamborghini says four fun things. Adult supervision required. I've noticed in every Power Wheels commercial, they're careful to show that these kids always have adult supervision while riding. But in the case of the Barbie Lamborghini, why does mom look so fed up with her daughter? She's always shaking her head and impatiently tapping her foot. Maybe she's just mad because Mattel is teaching her daughter that women can't even drive the same cars as men. Or one with a normal color for that matter. Sure, all the boys in the neighborhood are out on important missions in their Jeep Adventure Team Power Wheels, but I guess young Blossom here needs to stay home and get ready for the school dance tonight. Sure hope that pink Lambo has an airbag because you're about to smash face first into the glass ceiling, baby girl. Let's drive to the beach. Power Wheels does manage to treat both genders equally in one respect. No matter what color the car is, you are just as likely to fracture a bone while riding in it. See, toddlers aren't really known for their focus or coordination, which is why we usually wait a few more years before strapping them behind the driver's wheel of a vehicle, but whatever, what could go wrong? Whoa! Oh, hold it! It says that Power Wheels are intended for children as young as 12 months old, which is cool because at that age, babies really don't mind having their heads and necks thrashed about. Pow, pow, Power Wheels! Traumatic accident in your own backyard! Aside from the generally dangerous nature of Power Wheels, there have also been some safety recalls. In 1998, Fisher Price took in up to 10 million of their older cars to repair batteries that were overheating. Harley Davidson and Porsche models were also later recalled because their accelerator pedal was getting fused in the on position so that the car would be unable to stop. That can maybe cause some problems, especially if you live in my neighborhood where there has been a gaping hole in the sidewalk for the last six months. That's right outside of a daycare too. But no biggie, I mean, baby Jessica survived, and now she can look back and laugh about it. After a deep and rich history of their products maiming children, modern Power Wheel commercials tend to be aimed at quieting the safety concerns of parents. Kids are not the only ones who love Power Wheels vehicles. Moms love them too. Power Wheels vehicles are tested above and beyond industry standards. Every vehicle comes with high-speed lockout, so they can choose the right speed. So look for the Power Wheels brand quality safety service guarantee. Because because if it's not a real Power Wheels vehicle... Oh my gosh! Oh! 
It's not worth yelling about. High speed lockout means you choose the speed your child gets trapped under a machine. Faster for more momentum, or slower so you have time to savor the terrified look on their face. Power Wheels understands that operating a motor vehicle is one of the safest, most risk-free ways of having fun. By putting your child behind the wheel before their second birthday, you're letting them know, I trust you to take your life into your own hands. So plop their diaper down into Power Wheels and let them cruise to their heart's content, or until you need to take them to the hospital to get stitches. Whatever! <laughs> Were you lucky enough to have a Power Wheels growing up? And how did you avoid injury while driving? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see the evolution of other toy brands over time, which was an idea given to me by Bells9113. Thank you so much. Let me know your toy suggestions to see your comment featured here, and don't be afraid to say hi to me on social media. Most importantly, if you enjoyed this video and haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll click that subscribe button, which is my face over here, or that button down below to join the crew that helps me put these videos together. That way you'll never have to look for my new videos, which I upload every week with toy commercial commentaries on Fridays. Thanks so much for watching and for pow pow power wheeling with me today. I'll see you next time. Hello, television viewers. I'm now with you. We're off to a great start. This is gonna be easy. I <sighs> said